Sarah Jane came to our attention mm, through her work. And, and for us, she just seemed to have that attitude and that kind of, uh, she was a very independent, was and is a very independent woman. And we knew that that spirit could live within the context of three very uh, demanding, you know, uh, roles in the characters that the other characters had to play. So, and, and it was really that simple. really believe in this guy. I believe in what he's trying to do. Do you believe in him? When he believes in himself, I do. We're gonna go help him? Okay. Rick Hansen's story was a thousand days long, about. Our story is a day or two. So we pick him up at the 500th day of his thousand day journey. He's exhausted. Everybody in the team is exhausted. They pushed halfway across the world. They're, they're in, unable anymore to understand where they are, what they're doing, except they have to continue to push. So we decided that that the essence of these characters could best be understood in their tiredness, in their exhaustion. Rick, I'm so sorry. I, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I don't need you, Tony. The stairs aren't supposed to be there. Hey, you know what? It, it's really no big deal. Look, um, me and Donnie, we'll, we'll lift you up, we'll carry you up the stairs, and you can roll from there. You get yeah. the front, Donnie. Wait, wait, what do you mean, no big deal? Huh? Oh, you mean like the Gobi Desert? I'm still choking on that mistake. All you have to do is find a route to put the winds on our backs, and you blew it. Now, with the world watching, you're gonna what? You're gonna carry me up those stairs? What kind of message is that sent? That you're a human? No, Donnie, he says that I'm a cripple. I think Rick had a lot of obstacles. I think some of the main ones are just being seen as a person. Not being seen as helpless or disabled or being seen as a cripple, as we talk about in the movie, but just seen as a person. You know, he's, uh, in his mind, he's the same as everybody else. He achieved so many things, you know, won wheelchair marathons, played wheelchair basketball, went across the world in a wheelchair person that's walking. He's never done any of those things. So maybe he felt like he had to do all that to prove that he was as good as everybody else in his own head and to prove to other people. Can I help? Yeah, you know the boys aren't speaking English very well this morning. Maybe you could translate in your special way. I felt from the moment that I was forced into this chair, people fell all over themselves to help me because they felt sorry for me. There's no way you guys are carrying me up those stairs. To be the kind of person that Rick is and have to rely on other people has got to be very difficult. But when you realize that you need that, it's, it's very freeing also to realize that you don't have to do everything yourself. You do whatever you can with, within your limitations. And as long as you all share the same mindset and you all have the same goal, okay. then there's nothing wrong with relying on somebody else. We all do every day of our normal life. When we started with this film, there was a sense that it was going to be very much a soundtrack with a lot of songs and that the score would be filling in those blanks. And I think as we discovered how the film felt as we went along, the, a lot of the songs started to fall away because they, they weren't matching the energy of the film and the performances and that the score was spreading out to, to fill those spots. Okay, 
Listen, your hands are gonna start to bleed, okay? You gotta hold onto the rim all the way to the bottom of the stroke. The tape and the glove can't protect you against that rim. In ancient times, a powerful warrior ruled the state of Chi. I was so intrigued by uh, Chinese paintings and um, started looking at a lot of the books and I used ch um, children's books and took the figures from that. But the color, it just intrigues me with Chinese painting. And it's, uh, I think, quite close to French painting, the, uh, their sense of color, and I just love it. Perhaps it's better put by one of the characters who said, you know, China has 5,000 years of memories, and, and, and very few of which translate well into our media. And, and I think that's true. So we thought the best way to tell the story was to try and find the, the Chinese cultural icons that told stories in and of themselves, that required no explanation from us. You know, when Chairman Mao said, you got to be a hero to achieve the Great Wall, I mean, one look around. All you got to do is stand here to realize the power this is, and it, it's, it boggles the brain to think that how any of this was possible, how every single brick here was laid by a person, how 5,000 kilometers of a wall even exists. I mean, that was such a journey and a feat for the people in the country. Hi, buddy. So to come here and be inspired by the type of energy and the type of resolve that it would take as a nation to do this. I mean, to inspire me as an actor, to inspire Rick as an athlete, to come here is, it's hard to describe. But I can feel it standing here. There's, there's an energy, the wall's alive. It's not just bricks and stones. It's, there's definitely an energy and there's a heart. There's a life force in it. It's very inspirational.